Welcome, welcome back to the channel. So I know a lot of times when I'm up here and um, basically if you follow me, one thing you will know about me is that I will speak from my heart. A lot of you guys are in denial of the fact that there is good and bad in everyone. So a lot of people that are on this spiritual, conscious, religious wave, they feel like because they found something that they're better than other people. They feel like because they go to church every Sunday or they wear their crystals every day or meditate that you are better. You are no better than no one else. Yes, we're all on different frequencies. We all have different knowledge and experiences. But it's too many people out there claiming to be something that they're not. And to me, you're just a hypocrite. So people that follow me knows that I will speak from my heart. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, when I do my videos about going to Mexico, being in Mexico, sometimes I know these people are taking it the wrong way. And I don't feel like you're taking it the wrong way. I feel like it's just your perception of, I'm not supposed to come up here and tell you that everything in Mexico is perfect. Because there's a lot of things that you guys should know when you're moving outside the country, especially if you're moving versus um, just visiting. So I try to bring you the good and bad so you can maybe not make certain mistakes, so you can be aware of certain things, people's and people, places, and, and, and situations. I just try to give you knowledge of good and bad. A lot of people are on here making videos just telling you about all the positive. And one thing I will tell you, if you don't already know, when you are meeting people, when what the hell is my cat doing? When you are dealing with people, when people are giving you information, if they're not giving you the good and the bad, then that's a red flag because everything has a mate. Everything has a, a mate attached to it. So yes, coming to Merida, you're going to have low prices. You're going to have this and that. But at the same time, there's a lot that comes with those contracts with the language barrier. So the thing with me, if you follow me, if you are um, in tune with me, I always speak from my heart. If I tell you I love you, if I have love for you, that stays there. I don't even have to speak to you and you know you can come to me because that love is still there. One thing... I don't want you guys to get me confused with is being fake. Um, just because I'm a spiritual person, just because I have spiritual gifts does not make me a fake person. I'm not going to bite my tongue. I feel like I am that Danny Dash. I am that Jaguar, Jaguar White as far as speaking the truth. And I'm definitely not a house nigger. Don't get my complexion confused because I'm light skinned. Because I'll never and will I ever be a house nigger. I'm always going to be a field nigger. And you guys can take that how you want with the real, recognized real. And at the end of the day, I will always be defiant to bullshit. And again, stop being a hypocrite. If you're going to give people information, make sure that it's valid. Make sure you're giving them the good and the bad. And that's just what it is. So you guys can like, share, subscribe. You see the cat back here. I don't know what it is he's doing. But like I said... The type of time I'm on is not for everyone. And if I tell you I love you, if I tell you I fuck with you, trust and believe, that is what it is. I don't switch up and change up on people. But yeah, we got to do better out here because I see the conscious community, you know, um, is going too far with stuff. I see women feel like because they're doing certain things or wrapping their, 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 their head wrap and the crystals, like they're better or deserve certain things and I see the men using it to their extent of manipulating women or using this conscious and this knowledge to make it seem like they're something that they're not and it's like we can't do that you know we talked about the church right we talked about um the the religion right and we said a lot of people that are religious people are hypocrites but what do you think the people are doing in the conscious community I'm starting to see it and it's starting to be repetitive and one thing about me I have spiritual gifts to you know um, help people on their journey, uh, spiritual gifts to connect with um, energies that has passed over and all these different things. And that would be a different type of time because I want to break down um, with both my grandmothers, my grandmother and my great-great-grandmother, um, and even show you the pictures and the history that I know where it comes from because it's definitely something I didn't ask for because I don't know if I would choose it. You understand? But the same way I'm able to connect with those energies, if I can connect with the energy that has passed over, do you not think that I'm not going to see your bullshit from afar? So with me, you know, I, I see it, and it's it's not healthy. Like I said, we talk shit and call religious people hypocrites for different things. You know, how can you believe in God, but you're not doing godly things? But how can you be conscious, and you're not doing conscious things? How can you be conscious, and you're not, you know, fulfilling the purpose that it is what it's supposed to be used for? We're conscious for a reason, right? 
you know, I was conscious when I was a child and didn't even know what it was. That's why I wouldn't eat or do certain things. I just didn't have parents or people around me that knew what it was to be conscious um, or was even on that type of time. You know what I mean? My mom was from the South, so she still had this slave mentality. My dad was from the city. He was from New York, so he had a street mentality. So, you know, here I am, this child that's like, hold on. We're not supposed to be doing that. We're not supposed to be doing this. But I had nobody around to build with until I became um, or just had more knowledge of self. And then, you know, the universe gravitated people around. The first person I started watching was a Dick Gregory. And that was just through YouTube. Somebody, you know, I won't say somebody, but the universe just gave that to me. And it was people along the way. So, like I said, we need to do better as a conscious community. I don't like how this cat just got his whole back fire just laid out. Um, I don't know what he's doing. But um, we just have to do better. I made a video the other day about black people in Mexico. And, and um, you know, we have to do better as humanity. It has nothing to do with black, white, and if you're in Mexico or not. Just because you move to another country does not make you more better or conscious than anyone else. Because there's people that are doing way better that are in the States. You understand? That's another thing. People feel like if I move outside the country and slap a crystal up here and wrap my head, and it's like, no, that is a whole mask that you just put on because people like myself, I'm able to feel your energy. And then people that might not be as intuitive, they're, they're going to be able to chime in and see that you're not authentic. So we need to be doing better in the conscious community. We need to be doing better in the black community. We need to be doing better in humanity. We need to be doing better when it comes to mental health. You know, it's so much information that I actually, you know, I have to take notes because I could be doing something simple like washing dishes and I'll just start getting downloads. And I have to stop and take notes because there's so much information coming through. And I know the information is not just for me. Like I said, I'm not a stingy person. And that's why I take the time to write down these notes because I already got the download. I write it down so I can then bring it to you guys. And there's a lot of things that I want to share with you guys when it comes to moving outside of the country, particularly Mexico. There's a lot of things I want to share with you guys when it comes to my spiritual services that I offer. But I would appreciate you guys to reach out to me, even if it's leaving a message below. I can give you my email, my phone number, whatever you feel comfortable with. Because when I turn this camera on, I have supporters. I have people that truly support love me you want to chime in to give information you also have negative entities you also have demons you also have people that just have bad intentions that also tune in so that's why i tell people that i also have information that if you need it if you want it, if you want to ask me questions there's certain things that i will absolutely not share on this camera for those purposes so that's why i say reach out to me you can leave a message below with your email or however you want to communicate and feel comfortable with no, I'm not going to charge you because that's not my job. I don't do consultations unless you want a um, personal spiritual reading or you want to purchase some jewelry or whatever products I might have, then that's different. But when it comes to certain things, you might be curious or like, oh, what was it she said about this or what was it she said about that? Just leave a message below and I'll reach out to you. But again, the same way I have an audience of people that have love for me, I have an audience of people that have bad intentions and they just, and a lot of people I notice, I'll do videos and I'll speak on something and... I'll see those people like do a video and mimic something I said or try to have like a service and try to mimic what I am doing. So, yeah, I mean, we all learn from each other and take different ideals. But there are certain things that I would like to tell you guys and share with you that I will not put on this camera. I just won't. And that comes with leaving the country, my spiritual services, things to do when it comes to plant medicine, depression, anxiety, all those different things. So I want this video to be under 10 minutes. We're almost there. Thank you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. It's absolutely free to show support. So just like the video, share it, subscribe. So next time, make sure you are meditating highly. Make it most importantly, I'm talking too fast. Most importantly, make sure you are loving yourself. Please do. And my cat, he gives love too.